Hello to all of you. So today we are going to discuss about carrying out the descriptive statistics in R. Once you have collected the data and you have imported into R, now the next thing is we want to describe the data. So for this purpose we are uh, using descriptive statistics. Basically descriptive statistics are very useful in describing the basic features of the data in a study. It is a term uh, rather given for the analysis of the data that describes, shows or uh, summarizes the data in a very meaningful way. Now how we can do this? Let us go in R and try to understand. Now in our previous videos we have already discussed about that how to generate the data frame. So first I am generating age, then weight, height, uh, BMI and then I'll generate the data frame. So you can see all the variables are continuous in nature. Now we generate some statistics that is mean, median and mode. So normally we bifurcate the data or rather the levels of measurement of the data can be said that either it can be a categorical or continuous in nature. The example of uh, continuous are height, weight, blood pressure. Here I mean that there is a continuity in the data. Uh, there is no break in the data. And when such data is there, we can have a mean of it. The categorical data can be very uh, simple. Gender, male, female, uh, yes, no, rural, urban, literate, illiterate. So these are all categorical data. Normally, whenever we are having a continuous data, we use mean and median. And for specifically categorical data, we plot mode. Okay, let's start generating the basic statistics, which is known as measures of central tendency. And in measures of central tendency, we are having mean, median, and mode. And then we will talk about measures of dispersion, which is standard uh, standard deviation and variance. How we can generate this? Very simple. <clears throat> Go here and write down. <coughs> excuse me mean age uh, just a minute yeah median age max maximum in the age it will give me the figure you can see max what is the maximum in the age it will pick up from here minimum in the age range of the age if, uh, it will pick up the minimum and maximum now uh, now quantile that is, we are dividing the data into 25%, 50%, and 75%, and we want to know the points at where this 25% uh, is divided. So run. So the first 25% is at 29.25. The median 50% is at 33.5. The third quantile is at 50.50. Right? Then next is standard deviation of the age is 16, variance is the square of this, it is 287. Now in the base package of R, we don't have the command for executing skewness and kurtosis and for that we require the library moments. You can very well uh, install the packages from here, tools, install packages, make sure internet connection is on. You can write down here moments and you can install the packages fine once this is done activate the library so you can use the functions of this moments so here i can plot skewness kurtosis the, now there are some apply you can say the there is a family of apply which includes apply l apply s apply t apply we will see one by one now let's go back to the data frame the bmi data frame now I want to generate some statistics which are row wise. That is say for example, I want to take the total row wise 56 plus 78 plus 165. When my requirement is such that I want to take a total row wise, I'll use the number one in the apply command. And when my requirement is that I want the total or I want a statistics which is column wise. So here I'll use two. With this simple concept, let's try to run this thing in R. I want the summation of all these variables row-wise. So what I'll say, apply BMI1 sum. 
run. I want it column wise, so I'll get it column wise, right? I want the mean column wise. Normally, we use two, that is, we will indicate the things by two only because uh, most of the time we want the statistics column wise. Now there is an S apply command here. You don't require to specify anything two or one. If you write S apply, it will clearly under understand that you are talking about the things to be done in column wise. Now there is a command which is T apply. Now this T apply is that you can uh, bifurcate your descriptive statistics according to the categories. For example, I want to know the mean height of the males and the mean height of the females. I want to know that, right? So for that purpose, what I'll do, I will have to, uh, I'll require gender. So I'll have to generate the new data file. Just a minute. Now we are including one more uh, variable in our data frame that is gender. Now this gender is categorical variable and our requirement is that we generate the statistics based on that is a height we require according to the gender and the statistic which is to be computed is mean. So as we have inserted the new variable we will run the data frame again run. Now the command is t apply. I want the height according to the gender and the statistics is mean run and I will get the uh, mean height according to the male and female. I can also use the aggregate command for this. The command is aggregate height tilde gender fun. Fun is fun sun. And here I can uh, use sum, mean, standard deviation, whatever I want, I can keep here. Run. So it will generate the statistics this way. I can also give the combination that is aggregate height gender plus locality. So for this, I will have to insert the new thing, a new variable that is a locality. Now I have included the locality, the new variable, right? So now we are having two categorical variables and I want the statistics that is a height according to the uh, two categorical variable that is gender and locality. How we can do it? First of all, new variable has been inserted. So I'll run the data frame again. Now I'll say aggregate tilde gender plus locality function is mean. And you can see we, on various combinations, female in rural area, what is their height? Male in rural area, what is their height? Female in urban area, what is their height? Male in urban area, what is their height? Right? Now I'm creating a new data that is a social data and I'll generate the statistics run. Now I'm giving a blanket command that is I want the summary of the social data. So, so I will say summary social data and it will all it will generate all the statistics one by one run. So you can say minimum first quantile median mean third quantile and maximum it will generate. Now there is one library PSH, PSYCH uh, that you can activate the library and you can uh, activate the library and you can get all the functions of PSYCS library. So the further command for this is describe social data. Now I can say describe by. It means that describe by uh, the social data has to be bifurcated. All the statistics have to be bifurcated of the social data into male and female. Run. And you'll be able to see here that the descriptive statistics group by female and male. Right? male and female okay let's proceed further uh, I can include empty cars that is a default data frame empty cars I will attach it now what to do when I am having both the categorical variables let's see and uh, empty cars what the variables are empty cars it is just a minute so I want to calculate that how many automatic and manual cars are there a is automatic M is manual so for that the command is table run and it will tell me zero cars that is zero means uh, automatic are 19 and manual are 30 
when I use the combinations that is F table, it displays how many are having automatic, um, uh, the combination of automatic and manual, VSS is vertical and straight engine. So I can use this F table also, or I can use only table also. And the statistics is generated. So 0, 0, 12 cars, 1, 0, 7 cars, 1, 0, 6 cars, 1, 1, 7 cars. At any moment of time, you want to know the code of this, that what codes have been used in this uh, data set. You can just write down help the name of the data set. Sorry. Run. On right hand side, it will tell you the codings. See the codings. Right. Okay. Let's proceed further. Now I can use table and I can insert one more variable, one more categorical variable, gear, VS and EM. According to the number of gear, how many cars are there in vertical, straight and automatic manual? Run. So you gear 345, VS 01. You can change the orders also, right? You can keep VS and EM first and their gear. So here, uh, the table has been bifurcated am is equal to z uh, sorry am is equal to zero first table and the second table is am is equal to one i can add margins also add margins same command uh, it is prefixed by add margin so we will get the sum total on row wise and column wise now i can also give the multiple conditions that tell me the mpg for, for the various combinations of VS and EM, right? So it will calculate that thing. Various combinations. It will give me the average. Now there is one package which is known as Stargazer. It will give you the output in a very, very organized format. Activate the library. What I'll say, Stargazer is a command MG cards. Type, I want it in text format. Title is a descriptive statistics and the accuracy till one digit out output is table dot text run and you can see the entire statistics which it has generated here the variables are there in the column variables are there and in row that is n number of the data mean standard deviation minimum percentile that is first quantile and third quantile maximum if i want to flip this statistic that is i want the variable in the rows and statistics in columns, there is one more thing which I have to insert that is flip. As soon as I insert flip, run and my statistics will flip. Now there is one, one more package, library summary tools, very interesting package, library summary tools activated. Again I will activate the libraries which are there, run, I will activate the data set. So after activating the library, I will activate the data set. Now here we are having something which is in continuous variable also and some and some variables are in categorical also. Now in summary tools, what the command is, as soon as I write summary tools, colon, colon, describe. So it will describe the entire sample. Mean, standard deviation, minimum, Q1, median, Q3, max, mean absolute deviation, uh, interquantile range, skewness, kurtosis. Now if I use summary tools, colon, colon, frequency, gender. So it will, it will generate the statistics of the categorical variable. Describe is for continuous, describe. This when I write describe, it will generate the continuous statistics. And, on, and when I write frequency, it generates for categorical variable. So run and I'll get the frequency. This this is the same thing which is generated in the base software. Female R3, male R3, valid percentage, cumulative valid percentage, total, total cumulative. Now I can give the combinations also. Summary tools, colon, colon, cross tabulation between gender and locality. And you will get the uh, cross tabulation. That's contingency table. I, if I want the percentage, according to the column, I will insert one more argument in it, comma, proportion is C. Run. 
proportion are row wise so it will give me the statistics if it is column wise 2 divided by 3 1 divided by 3 3 divided by 6 if i say row wise so it is 2 divided by 3 1 divided by 3 that way right let's proceed further summary tools now there is a very blanket command which is known as df summary uh, first of all let us generate for bmi i will run it and it will display the result at present you feel that it is not in organized format drag it a little and you will come to know how organized the output is age mean median max of age tally marks are given weight tally marks are given height tally marks are the, uh, given but let us run this same command for empty cars and see what the result it will get run and let's go back here on mpg is a continuous data so it will generate a very small histogram see very small this is an histogram it will generate cylinders are categorical and it will generate the tally marking displacement is again the histogram hp is histogram am and vs will be in the tally marking right because they are categorical variables number of gears tally marks and carburetors are telemarks now there is one package which is stable one normally in uh, medical science they require the things to be for reported in a very specified format <coughs> sorry <coughs> and for this purpose we require uh, we require particular type of library that is table one activate this run run and on right hand side you will be able to see the statistics which are according to the requirement of the medical science that how many placebo group are there and how many control group are there and overall what is the result so here i have bifurcated the result into female and male and on that basis we are reporting some statistics age height weight so this is a normal thing which is required in medical science and therefore we report this in this particular format and the package which is there for uh, this is table one now there is one more package that is user friendly science normally used for multiple response normally when uh, we go for filling up the questionnaire and our question is that you got this you got this information from where and we give the options as newspaper website through fans so it may be possible that the respondent may be give, may be ticking on multiple options and when we are having such type of data we have to go for multiple response analysis so how we can carry out we can say uh, the data frame which is there activate the data frame and all the responses which are there i will activate and i'll get the answer in form of multiple response you can see percentage of responses and percentage of cases so this was all about descriptive statistics if you want uh, to study more commands then they are very readily available on amazon that is amazon.in my book is published there data analysis using r it is available on amazon.com also and amazon.in also data analysis using r by dr dawal mehta so thank you all of you you can subscribe to my channel and you can follow me on linkedin and twitter